Creating an ebook is something you can easily do, but the important thing is your intent. Why do you want to create an ebook? Do you want to add value or do you want to make more money? So you should really define why you want to create your ebook before thinking about creating an ebook. So if you watch to the end of this video, you're going to discover how to create an ebook for free. And I'll be showing you five things you need to consider also before creating an ebook and how to get your ebook from start to finish. So my name is Charles and I'm passionate about people and businesses. I love to see people and businesses grow. If you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe to see amazing videos like this video. And if you get value, don't forget to drop a comment, drop it in the comment section. So there are five things that you need to consider for creating an ebook. It's very important that you consider these five things so you won't make mistakes. And people just come, oh, I, do, I want to create an ebook, and you just come up because you have an idea. You just start creating an ebook, and then when when you're done creating the ebook, you won't know where to start when it comes to marketing. And then it becomes a problem to market your book, your ebook, or your product. So the first thing you need to consider before creating an ebook is your audience. Who are those people that will be reading your ebook? What are their interests and their needs? You need to understand your audience, and understanding them would help you create a content that is relevant. It would help you create a content that is engaging. And when it comes to uh, marketing your book, selling your book, it's not going to be hard because you understand your audience and you've written a book that is still up to that audience so convincing people to buy that book won't be hard if you have a topic in mind it will be easy for you to find your audience where your audience are and it'll be easy for you to create a customer persona around it on the other hand if you don't know what to talk about or if you've not decided on the topic that you want to talk about you can pick a niche and create a topic tailored to that niche so choose a niche and create a topic around that niche whatever i want to talk about identify your niche it will be easy for you to start the next thing you need to consider is your topic what is the main subject or the theme of your ebook what have you decided how will you organize it and how will you present the information to your audience to the people that may be interested in that book the topic should have clear focus and structures your topic should contain keywords that are emotional and keywords that are catchy that are captivated, that can captivate the mind of your audience or someone that is just seeing it for the first time and sees this book, You're like, wow, I need to read this book. So the next thing you need to consider before creating an ebook is the format and the design of your ebook. Now, this part, it's a part that I can outsource, it's a part that I can do, it's, it's not hard and I'll be showing you how to do that in this video. So question is, how will you format your ebook? What design elements will you use to enhance your reading experience? So you need to choose a format and design that in an appropriate way maybe you want a book with images colored images or you just want a plain book without images so depends how you want to format how the style is and what your book is talking about if you have a cookbook there is high probability that you might want to add images to that book the next thing you need to consider is publishing and distributing options how will you publish your book after you've written it you've written it you've designed it how would you publish your book once you're done creating publishing should be a hard thing there are several platforms that can help you publish it you can publish your book on amazon you can publish it even on your website i'll be sharing other platforms where you can publish your book at the end of this video so the final thing or the fifth thing you need to consider when creating or before creating an ebook is your goals i talked about this in the beginning of this video what do you hope to achieve with your ebook and how will you measure this success you need to set set specific goals you need to set measurable goals you need to set specific goals it's very important to set specific goals i'm going to publish my book on the 25th of march 2023 or whatever so you just have to set specific goals you need to track it not just setting goals track the performance after you've published the book okay is it selling how much is it selling how many copies is it selling every day which people are more interested in the book and what kind of people show interest to this book you need to track and evaluate the performance so that selling more would be easy for you we've talked about the things the five things that you need to consider once you're done with those considerations and you know those things you can say okay now i want to start creating this ebook and we're going to create an ebook here together come up with a topic that can solve problems and have certain 
keywords. So the next thing after coming up with the topic is to write the content of the book. So you can use Google Docs to write the content. Google Docs is available and it's free to use. So if you don't have Word, you can use Google Docs. I believe Google Docs is better because you can access it from anywhere at any time. After you're done with your content, you need to design the book cover and a tool that would help you and it has all the resources that will help you create your book for free is uh, Canva. So after your design is ready, once you're done, there are many online platforms where you can publish your ebook. We have Amazon, we have Kindle Direct Publishing, we have Apple Books, Google Play Books, Kobo Writing, and there are so much more. So these platforms make it easy for you to upload your ebook and make it available for purchase. So go to canva.com to design this book cover. So with Canva, you can create presentations, social media, video, prints, products, and even website is funny enough. So um, we want to come to the search bar and search for book. I can see book cover, click on book cover. Here are there are several book covers available for you to use. So you can choose anyone and use, if you want to use from the templates, remember they are paid and they are free. If you want the free version or the free uh, template, click on free to filter it. And you're just gonna see a list of um, free book covers, but we are not gonna be using the free one. We are going to create a blank book cover. For me, let's just get started. Go to text and you can add heading with the subheading, but there are nice fonts here that you can use. I like these fonts. What I'm gonna do is to come here, drag it and edit it. If you see around the corners, you see um, these corners, you don't want to design outside these corners. So this zone, inside here, this is the safe zone. This is where you want to do your designs and your write up So I could come here and say, my book, this is the name of my book, I hacked Google Ads. And then I come here and then I write my name here. Okay. Charles, and then scroll down and this is it. I hacked Google ads and you can see. So I want to add something else. I'll move it to subheading and then I'll write 13 hacks that tripled my Google ads revenue. So we can change the identity, you can change this to, yeah. Mm, if I want to increase the size, I want to change the font. Click top left corner, change the font. You can change it to clear sense. Mm, yep, yeah, I think this is fine. 13 hugs that tripled my Google Ads revenue. So I think this is fine. Um, I can just make this smaller. So you can decide to add an image in the background. So um, let's go to image, add a photo. And there are different photos here. You could just search for something like growth, a growth image to show that it's. Um, Okay, let's use this. Yeah, this looks good.
Um, uh, I can use this image. Yeah, this image is better. And then this right here, you could just make this smaller. Um, let's take a condensed, yeah. This is this is good. So you can see, this is front cover of my book. It's done. So this took me less than ten minutes or fifteen minutes to do. And then this is the front page. Then you can decide to add your introduction here. And um, you can say this is introduction and then this introduction page so you can add as many pages as you want depending on but always remember that this is the safe area if you're posting your content so introduction you can this is the body of the text if you want to write body click it body is here so here you can write um, the content of your introduction this book is or this is this so let's just say this is the introduction so if you have written your book in a word document or in google docs you could just copy your introduction paste your introduction here, paste the title, paste the introduction here, table of content, same thing for add, click here to add page, and then for add um, table of contents, if you want to add table of contents or whatever, then you could add, then here, this could be your table of contents. And then for the next one, you click add a page and then you start with your chapter one or whatever so you can decide to start with either a table of content or disclaimer before you get your introduction and then your chapter one your chapter two chapter three like that so you get your conclusion and then the back cover of your book so let me add one more hack uh, just in case you're creating books so at the end of your book at the last page you might want to add a QR code and the link that will be this QR code is a link to your social media or a link to your website or a link to where the audience or the reader could get to meet you. Maybe your book is about um, affiliate marketing and you want to guide them, have one-on-one -on -one mentorship. They could scan the QR code and to send them to your funnel again for them to pay for something else. So um, this is just easy, it's easy to create a book. You saw how I created this under a few minutes and you've gotten this. So once you've gotten all this, you've added your chapter one, your introduction, your table of content, your chapter two, your chapter three. Say you want to add image to chapter one, click on photos and we're talking about, so I'm talking about Google ads, you can say, okay, we want to add this image here and then you can add your image, write something. So it is very easy to create a book. It is very, very, very easy to create a book. You just have to write out the content and what you want to write. So this is it. All you have to do is to click this share and then 
you can send this to someone to review or to edit or you could decide to download it download the pages so you can download all four pages and it's going to download it as a pdf file it's downloaded you can see you can see the ebook here i hacked google ads 13 hacks that tripled my google ads revenue so this is a crazy um topic and maybe i might write a book on this <laughs> so um this is just it's easily how you can create an ebook and if you say okay i just want to save the font page i love how this picture is and i want to save it and use it for mock-up you can click download and you can see the option for jpg and then you click download and it's going to download the uh, jpg file just this page one you downloaded all of them as jpg that was a mistake you have to select only one page i think i didn't select the page for that so it's all four pages what we have to do we have to click on current page page one see it's selecting all the pages tick this and then just page one and done download it's just going to download the first page so if you're looking for mock-up for this your book um see I hacked Google Ads, 13 hacks that tripled my Google Ads revenue. So one last thing you need to do after downloading your book, you want to put it in a mock-up. So you can go to this website, adazin.com. And with here, you can generate mock-up, free book mock-up generator. So let's use this, use this template and then, and then choose the cover image that you want. Send me my cover. You can see the book, see how it looks like. This looks good. It looks catchy and someone want to read this. You're done with the mock-up, with the free mock-up. The next thing you want to do is to publish your book so if you want to self-publish there are different platforms you can do that if you want to use your publishing company that's fine but to publish your book you can do it for free just go to amazon kdp sign up and publish your book if you want to learn how to publish your book on amazon kdp i'm going to be making another video about that so if you have not subscribed to this channel subscribe to see that video and to see other interesting videos and like this video don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section if you've gotten value from this video if you have tips if you have tried out before just drop a comment in the comment section or if you want me to make a video about something put it down and i'm going to drop up or if you have a feedback about my videos about anything on this channel and uh, just drop it down in the comment section check out this other video